We have people in our country who believe that uh, there is an obligation for mankind to take care of them. We have people in our country who grow up, get real good jobs, make a whole lot of money, and that's good. Many of them believe that that increased capability and increased wealth that they have is passport privilege, right? Uh, you all know and have seen people who believe that their wealth is a passport to privilege. By golly, I'm a rich sucker, and so I'm entitled to that new Lamborghini. I'm entitled to that old Corvette. I'm entitled to that motorcycle sitting there in the garage, to a boat, to a jet. It's passport to privilege. But the reality is that when you're as gifted as you are, when you're as bright as you are, when you have somebody make it possible, whether it's your parents or a friend, when you have somebody make it possible for you to travel and go get to do something that you otherwise would not get to do, then what happens is you have an obligation, not a passport. And everything that everybody tells me about all you young people is real, real good in that regard. People who are here to learn, maybe from somebody on the faculty, maybe from each other. And I think that's just a wonderful deal. I like being around young people. I used to be that way. <laughs> and a long time ago. But I like being around young people. I respect you for just exactly who you are. You're not kids. I refer to everybody in the military uh, probably up to about the rank of three-star general as a kid. You people are not kids. You're young adults.